everybody, Monoism here. I guess it is officially Christmas Eve, and I wanted to make this video like uh, two, three weeks ago, so uh, better late than never, I suppose. Still time for you to rush out and pick these up, or simply acquire them for next year, probably at a discounted price. Uh, the pool table is still kind of in, we just built a computer mode so everything is here, but it's pushed back and to the side and everything, but rest assured the new elites are all back there, as well as uh, our special Christmas Skylanders, keeping things festive. We'll bring Mistletoe Dive Collapse into the picture. <laughs> so, I picked this stuff up, like I said, probably, it might have been the first week of December, if not, it was very early in the month, and I uh, found it at GameStop, I went in there, it's the day that I found the Little Mac. And I was so excited about it, but uh, what it is, it's just a couple of uh, Mario's, uh, yeah, I guess we'll start with the Mario Maker stuff here. So right here, this is a uh, Super Mario Maker 4 Generations of Mario ornament set. So we got four uh, sets here, you kind of got like uh, Super Mario Bros, the original, uh, looks like Super Mario Bros 3, uh, and then we kind of jump up here, and then of course you kind of graduate over, but uh, yeah, actually... What? Okay, I was gonna say, there's no way. Alright, uh, so it's Super Mario Bros, as you can see there. Super Mario World, Super Mario Bros 3, and I guess Super Mario Maker, uh, or Super Mario Bros U is the fourth one. So, uh, like I said, this is all kind of special stuff for the 30th anniversary of Mario. I'm personally surprised that they didn't do more. Uh, in my opinion, I thought they kind of didn't cash in like they should have. But uh, Super Mario Brothers, then you've got Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario World, and of course, New Super Mario Brothers. So, uh, my favorite, of course, is Super Mario World, which would be ornament number 3 right here. But uh, that's a nice little setup. Let's take a look. Do we want to? No, we won't. Uh, I don't have a tree to hang these on, so uh, I will in the future, but note that they've got different little colors there. I gave a set to my nephew. And fear not, I gave those to him right after I bought them the same day, uh, so he could use them in his place. But uh, there they are. I think they're pretty cool. When we get our little Charlie Brown Christmas tree, uh, we'll make full use of those. Now we're going to move in. This is something else I found that I thought was pretty cool. Uh, limited edition here. This isn't the 30th anniversary per se, at least as best I know. But if you couldn't tell by the box, it's Super Mario Galaxy. In this case, Mario Galaxy 2. Uh, decorate your home with this collectible light-up ornament, available only for a limited time. Special edition light-up ornament, limited quantities available, exclusive to GameStop. That's again where I got all this stuff. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. And uh, I had never actually had a light-up ornament, believe it or not. Most of our stuff is kind of more old-fashioned, I guess. So uh, we'll pull this bad boy out here. <laughs> and uh, It's actually pretty cool, I gotta say. And uh, here again, you've got kind of uh, the Planet Mario there, you got Mario riding Yoshi, you got Lumas. Same artwork on the flip side, but right here, if you take this plastic tab out, you can set that down. Oh, mine was on. Snap. <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like. Remember when we'd unboxed Light Core Skylanders? Well, brace yourselves, we're about to kill the light so you can fully appreciate this thing. Oh yeah, you can see that. Let me bring it up into the light for you. I gotta say, that is freaking awesome. Now the sad thing is, if you've got a Christmas tree, you probably got lights on it. But if you've got like a specialty tree, I know a lot of times people put like a small tree in their bedroom or something. Maybe it's not as extravagant as the main one, usually in the living room. A tree full of these types of ornaments would just be pretty dead gun cool. So uh, you can't really tell, but there is a switch somewhere. Uh, can I even find it? It's, it's kind of hard in the dark. <laughs> there we go. Went off. Back on. That simple. I kind of like to keep that plastic tab in there just to kind of prolong the battery life, keep it from corroding. But uh, this is pretty cool, and uh, I'm a big fan of it. My nephew liked it, and like I mentioned, he's got his up on his tree. So uh, they do also have a uh, one with I think Link. I can't remember the scene that it is. Awkward pause, but I'm sure you figured out what I was doing when the light went on. But uh, right here on the bottom side, that's where our switch is, so we'll put that there. And right here is my little handy dandy plastic tab that will slide in to break contact with the battery. And we'll put this back in its case. I nearly got the uh, Legend of Zelda one, but I kind of, money doesn't grow on trees, sadly. I guess it kind of does, but I don't 
quite have a lot of them at this point in time, so have to be uh, somewhat picky with what you do. But uh, nonetheless, there it is. Very, very cool, and again, limited to GameStop, as are the uh, set of four Super Mario Maker ornaments. Coming in, though, this is kind of the cream of the crop right here. It is a Super Mario Maker limited edition 30th anniversary snow globe. So, uh, they kind of, like I say, I feel like they missed out on kind of cashing people like myself that grew up with Mario. Uh, you know, most people have kids, you know, that grew up in that era, got their kids tied into it. I got my nephew started on it. Uh, I think they could have done like a lot of really cool stuff throughout there. They did some, they did some, but I, I thought they would have kind of driven the point home and like, oh, 30 years, you know, type of a thing. But so, nonetheless, celebrate Mario's 30th anniversary with his limited edition snow globe. Special edition snow coin globe. Limited quantities available exclusive to GameStop. That is worded very poorly. I think just that right there, it seems like this was kind of something they probably did at the last minute. <laughs> I'm not so sure it wasn't like GameStop saying, hey, you know, there's some supplier like, why don't we do this, you know, Nintendo stuff that only we can say. Because it seems like Nintendo would have kind of, you know, had this stuff mapped out longer. But it's made in China by Sunrise Identity. Do not place near windows or direct sunlight, a magnified light may result in a risk of fire good lord oh that would be awesome <laughs> uh, not only is it a snow globe it can set your enemies homes on fire which that would be a diabolical plot even though it's kind of intended for christmas um never in my life have i read that nor have i thought of a snow globe like burning something to the ground of all the things in your home that you might have out at christmas time or in the holidays there's many things that you can envision burning it to the ground, right? A space heater, a candle, uh, an oven, a grease fire, all kind of anything in the kitchen pretty much. All sorts of toys and crazy, you know, helicopters or drones or something. But a snow globe? Talk about an unexpected killer, man. <laughs> Just, like, imagine that. You, like, head out, you know, and everybody's out doing something or goes out to dinner and... You come back and everything you had is burned down because you, you got a snow globe it's sitting too close to the window. So, uh, that is hilarious. Uh, God forbid, I hope it doesn't happen to anyone, but uh, you have to admit, you know, and you, you have to take it with a grain of salt, but if there was ever a situation where this happened, you know, like the fire marshal comes in and it's like, well, you know, what was the cause, chief? You know, was it uh, arson? Was it one of those pesky space heaters too close to a blanket? Uh, did grandma fall asleep with her cigarette again? None of that. No, no, no. It was the snow globe casting a piercing beam of magnified sunlight. You know, it was like 20 degrees outside with snow and boom, you've got disaster written. This is a fantastic unboxing. I'm so glad I took this out of the box because otherwise we wouldn't have gotten to enjoy this. I can't wait to show this to my nephew tomorrow or later today, I should say. But nonetheless, this thing is actually pretty cool and it's capable of burning structures to the ground, which just elevates it to platinum status. Uh, if these weren't sold out, they will be now because, hey... <laughs> That's some cool stuff right there. So anyway, it's actually a very cool deal. If you couldn't tell, that's 8-bit Mario. It's kind of comprised of the solid blocks, the bricks that you can break, uh, warp pipe, and uh, question blocks, coins, all that good stuff. We got a vine in there, the beanstalk, the beetle, the koopa, the goomba. Everybody's there from our glory days. Bullet bill up top. Can't have a uh, snow globe without him, I suppose. <laughs> it's a... Uh, Spinning around to the backside, it's the same thing. This is where all the action is, right? You see all the snow, that's pretty expected. But if you see down in there, kind of like those funky yellow things, yeah, those are coins, hence the coin snow globe. So let's go ahead now and work its magic. Not burning anything down, it's nighttime. As you should know, I do everything like midnight and later. But it's really written there, I promise you, I did not place that there. It's, it's like literally... <laughs> printed and that is a oh and the company name is sunrise identity oh the irony <laughs> it's just oh man that is that is something right there all right let's uh flip this over there's a little bit of snow on this side but all the coins stayed behind it so we'll turn it here we're gonna turn it this direction you can will this do it yeah oh yeah 
Now when we opened my nephews up I had the same problem. It was like really hard to get the coins to actually like fall down in an orderly fashion. That man, yeah, that's sad. They like just, they instantaneously fall pretty much. It's one of those deals that are not like anything gradual or magical. It's just kind of like they go from top to bottom really fast. <laughs> so fast you can't even appreciate it. So let's shake that up. If we shake it. See what I mean? They kind of, they're just, you know they're there and it's cool, but it's one of those deals they just kind of, you know. But hey, it's the thought that counts and the snow works pretty well. Plus it's cool and it can burn things down, so it's just chock full of wind. But so, uh, I don't quite, I, I just shredded the receipt tonight because I got my charge card bill uh, a while back and paid it. And uh, don't need the receipts anymore. If I had to guess, I think it's like $9.99, 4 to $6.99 for the LED one. And then this was either like... Anywhere from five, they were all under $10 essentially. And I think I might have got them on some sort of a promotion or something. It was one of those deals I honest to gosh didn't know they had them. I walked in. It's the day I went in for Mistletoe Divo Skylander Day. Whatever day that was, was it the 5th of December? So like I said, I've had these for quite a while. But uh, I went in there to get Nightfall. I got Mistletoe Dive Clops for free. And then while I'm going over to check out, I'm like, whoa, it's Little Mac. So beeline to that, and then as I'm standing there to check out, I saw this stuff, and I was like, man, I can't hold all this, and uh, so got prices on it, because I figured it'd be a ripoff, it wasn't, and uh, went ahead and wound up, that was quite the purchase that day, so it worked out well, but uh, again, the uh, it's all, this stuff here is 30th anniversary, if you will, Super Mario Maker, however you want, I kind of ration it out, this right here is Super Mario Gal Galaxy, Super Mario Galaxy 2. Very, very cool, especially again if you have a tree where you can light it up and uh, maybe not have it be overpowered by the lot. So, that snow globe is a diabolical device, I tell you. Uh, if you ever wondered about those things, now you know. <laughs> we'll have some fun with that. I'm actually, I'm gonna leave it out now. I'll get like two days of use of it, I guess, here for Christmas. But uh, hey, it's the thought that counts. I've had it here on the pool table, just pushed to the side the whole building and computer thing kind of took over uh, everything I do so we got that done we got this stuff showcased if you want this stuff head to GameStop today I'll release this video for you so you can hopefully see it and make a move on these products I have no idea what limited quantities are but I can say uh, I was in a GameStop when I was out of town this weekend and they had one snow globe one set of ornaments none of the light up stuff there's none of the Zelda stuff and so I'm assuming each store probably got a set quantity. Will it be a deal where online they'll have this stuff perpetually and you can pick it up in January or February for pennies on the dollar? Possibly. But I don't know that for sure the way Amiibo are still selling. My advice, if you want it, pick it up. Makes a great Christmas present even though it's kind of like, haha, use it next year. <laughs> Which is why I gave it to my nephew earlier. That would that'd be kind of cruel. Uh, as cool it is, is, it sucks if you have to wait a year to use it, you know, so. That said, winter just started, and uh, I'll just go ahead, I'll just have the snow globe out. I'll try to remember to cast like that, maybe this Corsair power supply velvet bag of wonderfulness over it or something. So, while I'm away, it doesn't catch the sun and it burns everything down. So, luckily the Elite Skylanders are here, so Slam Bam could put that out for me, I'm sure. But uh, nonetheless, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want this stuff, GameStop or GameStop.com. Move on it while you can. Again, not not at all overpriced in my opinion, especially if you're a fan of Mario, uh, collect this sort of a thing, or you're super into Christmas or something. So, uh, But right here, again, uh, the Super Mario Maker ornament set. Very cool stuff there. It's kind of hit or miss on the background color. That's not very festive, but they will stand out, and I guess that's probably what they were going for. This ornament, very, very cool. And again, the snow globe, which doubles as a diabolical doomsday device. So there we go. But uh, once again, thanks so much for watching. For myself, the ornament Super Mario Maker, the 30th anniversary of Mario. I hope everyone has a great Christmas. I should have videos coming out Friday, which would be Christmas Day as well. But uh, wanted to get this one up again. My apologies, it wasn't out sooner. But if you do have one of these, by gosh, get it out of the window seal immediately. <laughs> so, we will take it from there. But uh, again, hope everyone has a great Christmas. And I will catch you back here for more action from the pool table, provided we don't burn down.